Internet of Things has a lot of potential to reduce um, overage and costs. Um, uh, perhaps thinking about um, the situation when the drug is arrival at the clinical site. And um, you have to wait before temperature data are available. You have to quarantine the drug for a certain time. All these that you have not the drug available at this moment. And this on hundreds, thousands of sites. And very often this causes a, a, a new demand, a more demand, and you have to increase the overage. That's one, just one example that uh, by in introducing technology, you can avoid uh, these uh, quarantine times and therefore reduce overage. It's just one example for this. All the Internet of Things is creating a lot of data. So you are collecting data over data, you have a better um, uh, picture what's going on in your trial you have um, uh, and you have the data really in real time so the, you have the possibility for a much better forecasting based on very good data because everything in forecasting what's going in is going out at the end so um, this helps you a lot especially by, by the data collection and real-time data collection to have a much better uh, distribution planning or know also in the uh, supply chain where are the critical elements also based on history that you avoid this in future Yeah, delays, what I've already mentioned, quarantine is, is one example, quarantine times uh, to avoid uh, this, uh, to have, when you have an Internet of Things, for example, the real-time uh, temperature tracking, to have an immediate resupply, yeah, which is uh, already triggered when the excursion is happening, so the drug is on the way um, before really the damaged drug is arriving. Yeah, so you have, can really put together the time and, and can avoid delays. And of course you can de avoid delays uh, because of stock out when you have a better planning and uh, producing enough uh, drug for the clinical trial in advance. I think it really, it has really the potential to put together a lot of things which are currently separated. So you have the clinical supply with all the features, you have for example the, um, uh, all the um, e-pros, also how the patients are, uh, can collect the data, and uh, you have data management, uh, IVRS, everything separated. And the Internet of Things has really the potential to put a lot of things together. For example, you have at the end at the patient or at the site one mobile app, for the clinical supplies, for variables, and so putting really the data together so that you reduce the number of systems and also um, end-user devices and can combine it. I think this is a lot of potential um, to bring the separated uh, work streams and, and data um, collection methods together. We are really reaching out also to the patient. And I think what we really have to keep in mind is that data privacy, privacy of, of the patient then, that people are doing this at the moment um, in their private life, but clinical trials are another environment. And um, yeah, to have the good balance, yeah, that you protect really um, uh, also the uh, trial participants in their privacy, but comply also with the regulations and get the data. So it must be a balance between all of this.